Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you guys are all doing well and we're back as we continue with my City Skylines challenge to reach a population of above 100,000. Today we're going to be concentrating on the opposite side of this island and my plans are to sort the highway out and the bridge in the far corner. I also want to develop our university campus a little bit more. Currently it's sitting at level 3 and we want to get that up to a level 5 campus which is going to open up a lot of unique buildings that we can use throughout our city such as museums and other tourist attractions so that's one of the things we want to concentrate and just over here I want to be adjusting some of the roads and adding some new suburbs to our city. I'm really happy with how things are coming along so far and I've got some ideas as to what I want to do with the highway and how we're going to continue that. So we're going to jump in and first of all make some adjustments to the highway. Okay so it's right over here that I put this temporary road in and as you can see we've got lots of space here to build in. Now I'm not really happy with the way this bridge crosses the water and this temporary roundabout where the highway is here, this definitely needs to change. At the moment it's not really much good, not many people are using this highway to get this far across the city, they're just using it to get into the main part and I'm not so sure if I'm going to be buying the next tile over so I think that I'm going to have to think of a way of bringing this highway to an end and I certainly want to readjust this bridge. don't really like the way it curls out there so I want to put it at a different angle and by doing that I can also add the train line coming across here so we can get another train line bridge. So I think what I want to do is perhaps bring the road out from where it's naturally coming. So let's delete this and I think perhaps we'll adjust it so it becomes an avenue. Let's have a look here. Um, I'll try it with a single road and bridge but I'm not really so keen on that and I've got a feeling that once we bring the highway over properly this bridge is going to be quite popular so let's have a look at other ways we can do this. Let's, uh, first of all let's just get rid of this little bit and perhaps from here we'll use the avenue which across the water and that gives us a, a nice different style of bridge coming across the water here rather than the single lane avenue. So if I just gently curve it, say something like this, and then I've also got enough room to bring in the train line around the back, and I'm just going to have to delete this key in order to get the bridge to come across the water here, so let's just delete that little bit there for now. Bring this avenue across here like so. Yeah, no, I'm much more happy with that. And let's change these roads around here. I think if I was to bring that road up to where the bridge is, it would put a set of traffic lights right at the end. So I think what we'll do is we won't have a road going that way. We'll just bring this into a dead end. And it's also quite a steep hill there as well. So we'll just connect it up like that. And I think I'll just delete this road in the corner to avoid the traffic lights at the end of the bridge. We don't want that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. We can add some more buildings on the corner here. Now I've only temporarily put some dirt roads in as a marker. And I like the fact that it's raised up here, so I didn't want to change the terrain. But I think I want to upgrade this road on the top. I think we'll make this into an avenue going around the top. And this can circle what will be a new suburb. Bring this all the way down here. Just looks a little bit too straight in the corner. So I'll probably adjust that. 
round this off here. Make it a more gentle curve. Bring that there and there like so. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. And this bottom road here might look out of place if I change it into an avenue. Let's just have a look. Yeah, I'm not so sure if I'm happy with that. I like the fact that that road is raised up and it will make our skyline look a little bit different, but I think perhaps it looked better as a single lane. So let's go back and just adjust that to a normal two-way road. Something like this. Now, I don't think I'm going to be buying the next tile over, so I don't think there's going to be any way that I can connect the highway and continue it going on the outside of the map. So it's going to have to come to an end somewhere around here. Coming down towards the bridge. Okay. So these highways, they need to sort of come down onto the avenue. Okay, so I've just made some adjustments off screen. It's taken me quite a while to do this little bit. So I've now got a bridge going across the highway. And just at the end here, the highways kind of split off and join the avenue. I've also managed to reroute the railway. So I've got a cargo line running in along the back. And now I really want to get some sort of grids worked out amongst the middle here. And I don't intend to put much in the way of dense residential. It's going to be a smaller sort of suburb. It's going to be a lot to work here. So let's just follow some of the lines that we've already got. And I'm just going to follow some of the natural curves in the road. So let's bring another road out here. Now, one of the things you want to be careful of is you don't want too many junctions. Too many routes in can cause traffic jams, so we're going to evenly space them out. Let's do something like this, maximizing the amount of space we can get with the residential zones. Some little cul-de-sacs here. Yeah. Let's say it's just a case of painting and trying. Let's bring this down here. I want to maximize as much space as we can in this sector here. Something like that. Then of course I'll probably come off and just round off some of these corners so they look a little bit more natural. Another road coming down here like so. So this place is going to be totally designated as a residential zone. Population wise, we're sat at 43,000 at the moment. So by the end of this episode, I really want a population of 50. So there we go. There's, there's an example of having too many junctions. So let's try not to do that. Perhaps having one entrance in onto this little section here. Bring that up here like so. And I often find that I have to keep on coming back and redoing these and just we just keep on going over it until it gets the way we want to look from the sky. That's the space I want to be using, but I think around the corners we need to curve it a little bit more. So we've got let's bring another road down here. And also get some pathways put in before we start populating this. This space in the middle here is not going to be used. There's no squares to mark out where the buildings can go, so help to have a pathway through the middle. And this same here as well. We can have a pathway coming down the houses and encouraging our population to walk a little bit more. Less traffic on the roads. 
and just here, perhaps here and here, this is a crossing here, and let's have another pathway linking across to the, let's have another pathway here, and I'm probably going to bring in another train station, just a normal one going along with our cargo line, and I don't expect that cargo line to be too busy, it'll share the same line as the residential line or the normal train line rather. Liking that from the sky, I think I need to round off the edges a little bit more. Okay, so I've had a little play around with it. I've rounded some of the edges off so it looks a little bit more natural. And I'm just going to put some of the essential infrastructure in. We're going to need, of course, elementary schools, secondary schools, a healthcare system. Also want police and fire departments. So let's get our high school, I don't know, perhaps that can sit on the outside of the avenue. Right next to this junction here would be a good spot, I think. Something like that. Get ourselves some parks. Which also adds value to the area as well. Let's try and use this basketball arena next to the secondary school. There you go. Yeah, I like that. And let's also put some health services down. Okay, so I'm just going to experiment with these little Chinatown expansion that I've got. It's not a full DLC, but it's just a, a bunch of ploppable buildings that you can use. And I'm thinking in this section we can use some of the China DLC. There we go, we've got a little drive through Chinese restaurant we can use. And there's plenty of unique buildings in amongst this pack. As you can see, we can just sort of, we've got an oriental market. Perhaps shove that there. I'm just going to play around with these. And there is some really grand structures. But yeah, I like that, kind of different. So we're going to make this into a little bit of a, a Chinatown on the corner. And what else have we got here? Small office building. So I think in this area we will put some office buildings down so our population's got somewhere to work. So what's that look like just here? Yeah, kind of different. So it'll give a, a, a different effect just on this corner, some different style, unique buildings. So I'm going to play around with that and see what we get. Okay, so I've managed to put down some of the Chinatown and there's some unique buildings. And what I'm going to do is paint in some office buildings around the outside. But yeah, I'm really liking this. I've not actually experimented with this part before. And I say they're not growable buildings. It's not like a full DLC but just some different unique buildings that we can shove in amongst our existing ones. So we're going to have this as a place or an area for our citizens to work. Should work quite well. I've saved some of the really big impressive skyscrapers that come with this pack. We'll use them somewhere else in the city. Uh, got a TV station down, radio station plenty of restaurants and I'm just going to fill the rest of this up with some office buildings somewhere around here Let's see what this builds up to look like because of the terrain and the slope here it's um, kind of giving us some awkward shapes for the offices Okay, so I've let the simulation run for an hour or so. We've got our new little suburb here developing. It's coming along quite nicely. And, oh, I don't know why everybody's just got a happy smiley face there, but something's going on right. And it's building up quite nicely. So, moving on to our university campus. Now, we have got some levels here. We're at a level three university campus. And if we look here, 
We need to bring the campus attractiveness up to 900 in order for it to be able to level up to level four. So there is some new buildings that we can shove down here. The academic statues, let's put maybe a, a couple of them in. Somewhere around the main building, have a couple of statues that should bring the attractiveness up a little bit. And if we can get this to level five, we'll unlock quite a few unique buildings that can go anywhere within our city. So there's statues there. Oh yeah, yeah, I like that. It's got the fountain in the middle, a couple of statues either side. We need to get some more dormitories down, some more places for the students to stay. University Commerce Building. I haven't put one of those down yet, so with each building that we add, it also brings the attractiveness up. And shove this down here. So have we got University Library? That's quite a large one. Definitely need a library down on our university campus. So let's perhaps put it on the corner of this road just here. And I think we need to get some more dormitories down in order to get some more students in. So that's administration buildings. Um I don't think I'm missing anything else. We've got the outdoor study area already. There's a university groundskeeping. Yeah, we can shove a couple more of these in. Again, help add into the area's attractiveness, which is what we need to bring up to 900. As you can see I've had a little bit of a fire here as well. So oh, there we go. So 820 of a possible 900. Perhaps if we put a couple more dormitories in, that should bring it up to the right level. Next year, we should be able to hit a level four. So, outdoor study area. We could perhaps put one more of them in. Oh, there goes our academic year report. We got two academic works and there's a toga party going on, but we didn't get a level, of course, because we needed to have the university attractiveness up a little bit more. So I think if we add two or three more dormitories down, we should be able to hit that milestone, get this university campus to a level four. So I think perhaps a couple of them at the back here would do just nicely. Got a study hall. We could put another one of those in, I suppose. Perhaps next to our library. Let's just have a look at that. Okay, fantastic. Let's just see. There we go. So we're now at 900. And next year, that should level us up to a level four standard of university campus. And that's the way the university DLC works. Okay, so right next to our basketball arena and our university, I figured we'd have another little section here and I was going to dedicate this to the leisure industry kind of makes sense to have some bars and stuff in a university part of town so let's kind of grid off some roads here and design a new section and then if we dedicate this dense commercial towards instead of tourism we'll perhaps go for the leisure industry. Okay. So I want to get some more roads. Perhaps we'll have a bridge coming across the highway as well there. As you can see, there's plenty more traffic coming along down that highway now. So it's working a lot better. And I want to try and utilize as much space as possible here. So if we put the leisure industry in amongst this part here, we've got the, the bus station, the subway and a train station. So I think a little bit more. I'm going to need a little bit more space for the university. And let's bring in some pathways. 
perhaps down here. So after our residents have seen the basketball game, they can go out for a drink, kind of walk just through here. I'm really liking this. Just adjust this with the move it mod. Bring our pathways a little bit closer to the road. There we go. Yeah, just straighten them up a little bit. You can kind of get lost in there. I do need to do a little bit more detailing on our city. There's always something to be done in city skylines. So I'm going to paint this district here in the corner. And we're going to be going for the leisure specialization. So that'll encourage things like nightclubs and restaurants to open up in this section, which we haven't got any of just yet. We've got some tourism going on next to our city zoo. I haven't dedicated anything to the leisure industry. So I think just there and then that little chunk next to the roundabout can still be for expansion onto our university campus. So let's go to specializations and We'll make that a leisure specialization. So this is going to encourage a different type of city building to grow around that little area there. And I want high density commercial. As you can see as well, we are we do have a demand for commercial. So it shouldn't take long for this area to build up. And this area of town is going to be a place to come and enjoy and party. Okay. And I guess we can sort of come down here as well and along this road. Perhaps along here as well. I may put a bridge coming along the highway just there. And it's quite close to the train line, so we'll put some detailing down. Get some trees up there so that blocks off some of the noise, but I think the leisure industries generally create a lot of noise anyway. And so it makes sense to have it, I think, next to the university and the basketball arena that we've got there. So let's see what sort of buildings come up here. So what we got here, a 5am club popping up here. Place for somebody to go and drink. Got a nice rooftop bar as well. So let's connect this area up with some water. Try and follow the roads where I can. This little bit here down to here. Just connect it up to that pipe. Okay. So let's see what sort of buildings crop up in this area. In what's going to be known as Robin Square. Yeah, I'm liking it. You can see. I think we might even have enough room to put a little pathway in just next to this stadium as well. So let's let that grow a little bit. And as you can see here, I think we've got a little bit of a problem with traffic coming into our town. So I'm going to have to perhaps adjust this highway. Okay, so perhaps if I have an off ramp, I think what's going on here is a lot of traffic's heading into the business district, into this little Chinatown. So if I put an off road one way coming in here, should save on traffic coming down that avenue. So perhaps just adding that one road there, hopefully is going to ease that congestion over time. As you can see, I've just been adding some detail in. I've also put another off ramp that goes underground 
comes out towards our bridge. I'll show you in a second. Oh, there's our academic year report. So we have leveled up. And with that, we've unlocked a few new buildings. We've got the auditorium, university bookstore, and university laboratories. Okay, so we've got a few new buildings to stick down in our university. And I'll just finish off what I was doing here. Just been sort of detailing and adding some trees in and about our city. Now I've got two off ramps coming off that highway. As you can see, a lot of them cars are coming straight into our business district. And I think that is easing congestion for sure. Okay, as you can see, I've got this little underpass here that comes out off of that road again to ease congestion it goes under here and it's just a way to get across the bridge and yeah certainly getting used a lot more I've put the train line in as well we've got a domestic line and the commercial line and yeah I've added a few more things I think along the front here we're going to be planning put some dense residential in everything is looking pretty smart and I think just by adding these off ramps I think I might have solved our traffic issues coming into that avenue there in fact look yeah in fact that's completely solved it we are going to have some traffic of course but it's certainly not backing up anymore so that's certainly done the trick so let's have a look at the university buildings that we've just unlocked we've got if we come to the end here um, university bookstore so well, I was planning to use this little section here as university campus so let's just draw a little square in here something like that and we want to try and get it up to five stars and max it out that way we can use some museums and definitely stick some more unique buildings in amongst our city so where are we education and first of all I'm just gonna put some pathways in because the good thing about the university stuff is you can connect buildings just off of pathways so makes using the space a lot easier so something like that and just come to the end we've got let's put our university bookstore down it's quite a nice large building and fitting quite nicely there got our laboratory building well, that is quite a large one hey that'll fit quite nicely just there I like it okay and I think the other building we unlocked was it the university bookstore or auditorium already got one of those put another one in next to the roundabout can we fit it there not quite because of the pathway there we go we've got a couple of auditoriums now very smart I like it I like it okay I think our city's built up quite well let's let it run a little bit longer Okay, so I've just let the simulation run for a couple of hours. I've been doing a lot of detailing and I'm really happy with how this section of the city has now come along. I've added some more dense residential just around the outside to finish it off. And as you can see, I've put plenty of trees in going along the avenue. And I'm really, really liking this section here, this little bit of Chinatown just here with these unique buildings. It's kind of giving it a different feel on the edge. Here you can see I've just added some more dense residential around the outside and that's pushed our population up to 52,500. So we're now past the halfway mark of our city skylines playthrough. And I've just added another bridge going across the highway here. So we've got a bit of a fire going on, got a fire st 
truck just on the way to put that out. Just burnt down some of my nice trees and detailing that I've put in. But I think that's all the time we have for this episode of Complete City Skylines. And I'm really happy with this section of the city. Of course, and when I say we're at the halfway mark, it is quite easy to build your population quickly from this point. We could add plenty of dense residential, so we're more than halfway through our playthrough. But population-wise, we're at that halfway mark. But that's all the time we have for that episode of Complete City Skylines. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.